We're with family on Christmas morning and all of the kids have gathered in the living room waiting to open presents. As we pass gifts from one hand to another, we stop when each kid has in front of them a small pile with their name on it. As we give the signal, wrapping paper, tissue paper, and gift boxes fly everywhere. In the midst of the laughter, you see the gleam in a child's eye when they open up something that they really wanted. The whole experience for us lasted 11, maybe 12 minutes. And near the end of it, there was one kid that asked this question. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? As a parent or grandparent, as an aunt or uncle, any other member of the family, you think you'll be able to celebrate a job well done. But now you have to deal with this lingering question. Is that it? How could a child ask this question? Do they have any idea of what we had to go through to be able to give these gifts? No, they don't. Most cases, your kids weren't with you 40 hours a week as you were working to try to be able to provide for your family. They weren't with you as you braved the crazy experience of holiday shopping. And they weren't with you as you sat and painstakingly wrapped every package with love and with care. As the whole experience is going on, part of you wants to pat yourself on the back because through all that work, through all that shopping, through all that wrapping, you are able to give your kids something. And now you're wrestling with whether or not your kids actually appreciate what you gave them. There's a part of them that can't quite appreciate it because they don't know what you had to go through to get it done. This same idea brings a challenge to our organization. As leaders, we find there are times when our people are quite satisfied to just watch us work. And then when we finish up the project idea or initiative, there are people on the sidelines standing back asking the question, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Why? Sometimes it's really hard for people to celebrate something they have not made a contribution to. One of the questions that you need to ask yourself as we transition from one year to the next, are what are the parts of my organization that lend themselves to greater participation from the people on my team? How can I get more feedback? How can I get more hands-on? How can I get more support? So when we come to the end of a project, when we close out an initiative, when we fulfill an idea, we'll have less people asking, is that it? And more people celebrating a job well done.